I probably auditioned every teen star you could imagine and was like, no, no, no. And obviously to make something like this work, it's a whole puzzle. We obviously have you directing and you know, you wrote it, but there's also the cast. What was it about each of them that made them the perfect fit? Because you did say you didn't want to go, you know, the, the big star route. You wanted the relatively unknown. Yeah, I wanted fresh faces because it's really important to me for a story like this. It's really important that people feel like these characters exist. You know, it shouldn't feel like, oh, look, it's so-and-so from blah, 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 playing this, right? Um, and I think uh, I really love the actors we chose. Um, I feel like I did a very exhaustive search. I probably read like 500 to 600 people for each of those roles. Leah just has like a magnetism about her. Like I've written this very sort of bookish Asian nerd who hates attention. And the reality is those people are not really the kind of people who go out on auditioning for movies. So the likelihood I'd magically find someone who's exactly like that is like, that's just not gonna happen. And so what I'm now looking for is a smart actor and that's someone who just like, Leo's just interesting to watch, you know? And so then uh, we had like a few conversations and in every conversation, she would get deeper into the character. And I noticed she takes direction really well. So there's like, there's a little bit of a leap of faith because she herself is a super confident, like very, like she has all these wonderful attributes that I basically was asking her to strip away in order to get to the character of Ellie Chu. Uh, but I just, I don't know, I just knew that she, there was something in her and I'm so glad, like such an amazing choice. Now, Daniel, it's funny, Daniel, so I probably auditioned every teen star you could imagine. It was like, no, no, no. I really want someone who just, because Paul is the most emotionally intelligent character in this movie. And he, in a lot of ways, he's the heart of the film, right? And when I met Daniel, like he was completely unknown. He was like, he grew up in a tiny town outside Victoria, only a few hours drive from this fictional town of Squamish in Eastern Washington. And I was like, he's just that kid, you know? And it's funny because Daniel himself is very book smart. So he's not Paul in that, like he's very, very intelligent. Um, but his essential goodness is real. Like, it's just, like I saw him and I'm like, uh, like your heart just goes out to him. And I needed, I needed someone who wasn't just a pretty boy. Uh, because it, sometimes you'll see these like teen stars and, and like the, if the pretty boy shows up, you're like, that guy does not need help trying to get that girl, right? But you look at Daniel, he's handsome, but there's like a very accessible, like he, he's huge, he's six foot five, first of all, but there's also just a sweet, like almost puppyish quality about him that I just love. Like he's a man, but he's such a boy man and he feels real. And I needed that kind of authenticity to sell this town, that we buy this town at all. Um, and then Alexis, it's so funny. I think the role of Aster is a very unsung role. Like I think it, cause it's not a showy role, but what Alexis is doing is very difficult to do. Uh, like it just, to be that natural and to state things in such a subtle nuanced way where it feels simple, but it's actually not simple to do what she's doing. And I know that because I read like 600 people <laughs> before I found her. And um, I think she sells, she makes us love the other two more because if the love interest is not a worthy love interest, you kind of slightly stop respecting your main characters, right? But when you're love interest, you're like, wow, she's not just beautiful, but there's something deep and soulful and genuine about her, which I think Alexis really does such a great job exuding. It makes you like the other two characters more for liking her. Well, thank you so much. I just want to say thank you for this movie. It was amazing. And it's from someone who, you know, seeing someone who looks like me on screen. I really no, appreciate th it. No, th thank you. Thank you so much, Lisa. I, th I really appreciate that.